Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Minecraft. So as you can tell here, I have something different and it's a bunch of waypoints on the map and I'm going to explain what's going on here. So basically I started to mine down and uh, I started in the you know, center of my base doing uh, you know like a, a, a down deep and uh, basically I mine down and I see if there's ores and I don't find any. I go to the next one, the next one. Actually it's a little bit different than this. It was off centered and I mined I think it was in here at first. Uh, but I was basically trying to find or guess around roughly the center of an ore vein. And they look very interesting. Unfortunately I don't have an example to show you. Uh, but uh, either way, I found a couple so far. Basically, I found uh, copper, soapstone, diamond, and mineral sand, basically, that one is called. Um, kind of funny one on that one. And uh, basically, I'm putting these question marks around where I want to mine um, and check out. And uh, I should put more around, but you get the idea. I basically just randomly put question marks where I want to check out or if I've seen something. And uh, I'm slowly working my way, but I'm getting a, quite a few none as well. But uh, that's quite common. I think you would get like about a 50-50. Uh, actually, maybe more like a 75-25 actually. Because when we were playing around testing, we had a little scanner we used. Uh, I at least I tested in single player. Ugh, single player. And I was able to find that uh, a lot of ores weren't actually so hard to find uh, with it. Um, and it showed most of the area covered. Uh, so I would say it's probably more like a, I don't know, maybe 50-50. But I feel like it's more like 75 50, uh, 25 because you get like the outer edges and stuff like that uh, either way uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, show you some of this so there's the soapstone here and I'll show you what I've done and uh, I really do need to get some torches which kind of suck because uh, I am running low I'm just gonna use my charcoal which is probably not the best use of my charcoal uh, but at least I'm using it right <laughs> uh, and then we're gonna look at some of the tinkers construct stuff so I'll just give you an example uh, how I mine this so we go over here and uh, basically I, I go to the center of the chunk and I mark it on here. So I literally just go like this question mark like this and then I dig from there. But uh, basically I go to the center of the chunk and I make my way down here and I hit F7 just to make sure I have the, the view of the light level and all that f fun stuff. Um, and then I go all the way down to the bottom and uh, oh interesting this one is actually in error. I should have fixed this one, but basically what I normally do is I create the thing down here, but this was the first one uh, or first ore I think I found. Uh, so I should probably put it down to 27 then. Uh, edit and then change that to 27. There you go. There you go. It should be down here. And then uh, basically find the material and then I record it and boom. So. We're going to get achievements here because I didn't actually have my iron pick at the time. So finally I have uh, an iron pick so I can actually mine uh, all this now. And uh, the iron pick is upgraded. So it has the tin level which is 03. You can see this is 02, 01, 02, 02. So you get the idea of the uh, mining level anyway. So I'm very excited by that. Now, uh, oh, I did get more torches. I was like, D I don't have any torches. And I'm like, wait a minute, I do have torches. And uh, so here we go. We might as well mine this. And you can see what these materials are used for. So you can see the use for this one is, it looks like kind of boring stuff. Stuff I wouldn't use anytime soon probably. Uh, this one is nickel. Like it, it smells right to nickel. So if there's a use for nickel at lower levels, this one might be useful just because I could uh, use it right away. Like for example, make a durability hammer. I found basically the equivalent of tin, uh, or sorry, no, uh, the equivalent of copper and iron and a bit more uh, iron mixed with the copper one as well and uh, that's pretty much it actually I found one that gives a bit of coal but very little wasn't really worthwhile and uh, so that kind of sucks right now uh, so basically my, some of my goals and hopes is to find more uh, out there that will offer uh, tin and some sort of coal uh, some sort of dense coal so I can use it for making torches a little easier without having to deal with uh, the methods I'm using now uh, just because they kind of get a little tedious now emeralds i find them everywhere scattered so don't worry about emeralds being uh something special i think they're literally just scattered uh part of like the random world gen um just like the poor quality ores or whatever you find around the world as well uh, but i haven't found uh any real uh oh i found another kind here that one was probably there the entire time we just figured it out now 
Oh yeah, that's another one that we wouldn't probably use right away. I find if they require machines and all the mix, it's probably not one that you'd use right away. Eventually you probably would, but uh, the deeper you go, you have to remember this is like multi-layer. So like uh, we're on soapstone. So primary is soapstone, secondary is talc. In between is this gluconite and uh, around is this pentalentite. I can't say the words right, but you get the idea. Some of them can go quite deep. Um, you just got to dig around and yeah, it's pretty cool though. Uh, with the origin, I kind of don't like it just because, you know, you, it's easy. You just go every three chunks, dig down. Nope. Yep. Go the next three chunks, dig down. That's literally all you do. So it's not too exciting, but, uh, it's fun. Anyways, once you get them and understand it a bit. I got burnout on this before, but I'm kind of enjoying it a bit more. I don't know why. I think uh, because now I understand more right away and have a better grasp of it. Where before I probably got burnout trying to learn and understand all the different methods of what you're supposed to do. So I'm kind of happy about that, I guess. Um, so either way, uh, you guys get the idea. I'm not going to bore you much longer here. Might as well just grab a few of these so I have them in my inventory or my chest so like if I do need them for whatever reason we have them already done it's kind of the idea actually how long is the pick to level oh 91 okay we'll wait till the pick levels up so uh, I place the uh, iron head on there as well as the iron shovel head um, so now they require iron to repair, but since I found iron where you can literally just smelt it in a vanilla smelter, uh, no problems for me there. Uh, so I didn't really worry about that and I thought, okay, perfect. I can deal with that and, uh, I'm happy about that. So that is why we have what we have. I should make our way up now. Oh yeah, we were gonna level up. So there you go. We broke it. So we put the pick in. We put the iron in, and there you go. Because it has a diamond, uh, it's got a little bit more durability, which I like on here. And it's got a couple redstone on there, so it's a little bit of a fast pick as well. So not too terrible. I wouldn't want it too fast, but yes, reinforced and a new modifier. So reinforced just basically makes it so it has a uh, longer lasting. So it's current six durability 688, but it's effective durability in a sense, or it's an estimate is about 860 uses uh, before it breaks. So uh, reinforce uh, is actually not too bad, especially when you get the durability higher and higher, it kind of scales with it a bit more, but uh, yeah. Anyways, I did say we're going to go up once we did that, so let's work up. Uh, the reason why I wanted the ore right at the bottom level is because then you always know where the entrance is slash exit uh, to find it. On the surface, it's going to be in the center in the chunk, and it's not really hard to find it, uh, especially if you place a bunch of torches or a couple torches down, um, and I think that's the, the big key there. But anyways, now you understand what I'm going to do for quite a while. Uh, it can be a couple days in between episodes. Uh, you know, literally I'm just going to be working hard to uh, find the ores over time and work there. So, yeah. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our chest over here. And I kind of go ahead and I'm like, ores, 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 ores. There you go. And these, these ones are the iron ones I was telling you about. So if you check them out, it's iron. And uh, I have made a whole bunch of iron, actually, right off the bat. So uh, I have iron for repairing now, and I don't have to worry uh, too much about that. And in fact, I actually got some other ones, and I accidentally just dumped them up here without paying attention. Uh, these ones were mixed, with, uh, mixed in with um, marble, but uh, you can still mine it. It's kind of cool. And uh, that's why it's white, and it still retains the white color even once you mine it. So uh, it's not that that is normally found in marble. It's just that it was in a marble patch, and so it retains that color, uh, which is that's cool. I'll, I'll give you an example of what they do. See this here? So you can see how they switch colors here. That's kind of just the idea of it. 
uh, different depending on the material type. Uh, so we're not going to get any of those done. Uh, the copper one, we're not going to get done. I need a lot more copper for that, but uh, we're getting there. Uh, we're done beginning, I'm pretty sure. Does it actually say, like, you've done a 90? No. Oh, that's the zoom level. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that's done. I don't think there's, like, hidden ones or anything like that. Uh, you need more wood. Uh, spruce and jungle. Uh, do I have that much spruce and jungle? No. Okay, we'll leave it alone. If I did, I would be like, hey, I'll do this. But, uh, I, well, apparently you can plant them, I guess. But uh, they could get kind of high. I don't know how high they get, but I uh, don't want them too high, of course. But I can plant them for now and get that over time. And uh, is this multi-thing? That's all it is. And then apparently you can get a sacred oak sapling. Redwood sapling or redwood. Huh. Okay. And, uh, okay, I think it's good. Just looking around, just getting iron, 72 iron required. You got an achievement there. So you got a golden carrot, pumpkin pie, or a loot bag. I always like the loot bag. And, uh, so yeah, I don't actually know if doing this by vanilla standards is a good idea. Uh, cause I assume that's kind of a waste, but at the same time, you get one from there. What do you get from... Actually, it doesn't show the other one, huh? I thought it would show the tink er, Tinker's Construct version of it, but maybe you can't... Oh, maybe you can't actually... Oh, here's yours. 144, huh. Okay, it looks like you can melt the ores. It looks like, though, you only get 144, which I'm pretty sure is an ingot. So, very interesting. Uh, well, let's just confirm this. Uh, yeah, 144. So, uh, smelting it in here is really not a big deal if you want to do it that way. Interesting. Definitely interesting. Okay. So, last time, we were working on a multi-block goal, which was this puppy right here, which we... Uh, should have the 162 seared bricks if things went well. Um, oh, it says we have more than that because I did make an extra 64 and I might have had it a little extra before. I'm not sure. So we need to make 28 seared brick right off the bat. So let's do that. Uh, oh, looks like you might have to have it in the corner. Uh, okay, seared brick is not the way it used to be then. That's as simple as that. Okay. Oh, it requires water. They love water in this pack, don't they? Uh, a bit annoying when it comes to having to do that over and over and over, but uh, you got to do what you got to do, right, my friends? So let's see here. I just want the, there you go, buckets. Yeah, it's kind of annoying. It's like, uh, I'll take water again. Uh, water? Water? More water, please? I don't think you have enough water. I'll take more, please. So, there you go. And we'll put you guys around here. Oh, yeah. So, at least we got that. It's like a painful grind because it's just like, don't want you to, you know, be doing it other, you know. I guess over time they want you to do it f better methods, faster methods, but... Still a bit of a grind. Let's see if we can do it right here. Okay. And uh, actually, third brick. So you can do this and this. And I just speeds up slightly, maybe. Depends on how good you are with your clicking and all that. I'm not the, the brightest at it, so. There you go. And actually, I do have the other bucket, so maybe I will use both buckets since the recipe is on the second page. Sometimes it has like multiple buckets or ones and then it doesn't work out, but this one seems to be a little bit more fair. So, um, what we'll probably do here is put you here and here. Okay. There you go. So we'll go here and we'll go one, two, 
three, four, and five. And then we can put these down here, and we can do with the other collection again. I hate my waterfront that I'm destroying it, but I will repair it over time, as in just get rid of uh, the uh, waterfront. And if you don't know what I'm doing here, by the way, and you've never seen this before, I'm very sorry. This is me shift-clicking the question mark as long as I have the right resources. Sometimes there's some issues with it, but overall it works pretty decently and uh, highly recommended. And I kind of already went past the amount I needed. I probably would have done even more if I wasn't paying attention, so maybe it's good to stop right there. Uh, detect. There we go. And it would like me to detect a furnace, a new furnace it would like. Uh, I don't even remember. Well, I do kind of know, but I needed to see. It was like flint and... Okay. So flint and cobblestone set up there. So one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. There you go, and there you go. So you're gonna smelt your controller and seared tank. Uh, controller, good luck on finding it, there it is. Oh, you know what I don't have and I think we're gonna need? Oh, never mind. I was gonna say, I don't think I've ever made glass. Okay, glass might not actually be an easy process. Holy crap. Okay. Okay, so they they redid it because glass is a different setup than normal. So there is your tank. This is where you put your lava in. And then you're going to put in your um, and controller right here. This one looks like it's... Oh, no, it's a simple recipe, I guess. There you go. And then, uh, so basically what you can do, and my setup is going to probably not be perfect compared to a lot of people. I like to do mine quite big at first, but maybe I won't be able to actually. Uh, so I might have to maybe follow the quest before I do that. Casting channel, really? That kind of sucks. Usually they don't make you do that, but they are today. Huh. Did I click that or? Oh, there you go. You better just double check. I don't know if it was two or one for that one. Oh, they're both two. Okay. So, one, two. And then channel. I don't know why. One, two. I don't ever use channel, so it's kind of a crappy one. Uh, drain and basin. So, smell, smelt tree. Okay. Two drains, probably, right? Two drains, one basin. Okay, so smelty drain. Oh, it's for that. I was going to say, like, it didn't make sense. And then basin, which is this one right here. There you go. And then detect. And okay, I think the seared stone, yeah, is making normal stone in it. Okay, so they want us to just basically make it now. And then what is the next quest after that? Casting table? Uh... Oh, you have to do it for that one. Okay. Uh, casting table. Here it is. So we're going to need to keep one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we're going to need to keep one, two, three, four, and then one, two. So you can't let those kind of out of our sight in a sense. And I guess we can make the rest of these. Yeah, I guess there's no need for anything else, not right away. Because um, this is going to be one hell of a small smell tree, and I would like to make it somewhat like the ones I would normally make. Um, so let's, let's give it a try anyways. I'm going to put this all inside one day, but right now it's all outside. So you just gonna have to live with that. One, two, three, four, five, six. There you go. 
And so the idea is you can put the drain actually right here. A lot of people think, oh, you have to have it high or anything, all that. You actually don't have to have it high in the air. Uh, so you can do this. And then we can put the controller on this side. We can put the tank on this side. And then basically you can have the smeltery drain. You can put one here, one here. Oh, that one kind of came out funny. One here. And then so you need one more. Oh, wait, did I get a fire effect? Oh, I had my gloves though, I think. Or is it these? I don't know. Anyways, uh, one, two, three, four more. I don't think I'm eating these in the correct orders completely, but oh well. Uh, oh, because I took the water source out of there. Okay, so we need more bricks. So the brick itself, uh, yeah, so we need more of these guys. So that's two bricks, and we said we needed four more, right? So that should be just two more of these guys then. Nice. I'll make more, but that's this is good for now. I might make it higher, etc. off camera, but... Right now, it's just getting us this. And let's go to bed. Just to make it easier on your eyes. Okay. And there we have it. And then you put these guys here. And then you're going to put your holes here for your stuff. So one's going to be the basin. And the other one's going to be a table, but we don't have the table quite yet. Now what we need is a lava source. Now the lava source isn't hard to get. You just need to get lava. And I have hit lava before, but I'm not quite sure where because I didn't bookmark the lava because I didn't think it was anything important. I think it was under the ore and diamond when I found the most. Or remember seeing some there, I should say. So we'll go there anyways. How do I make buckets, by the way? Is it just... Oh, no. Nope. Okay. Slightly more complicated, so I'll ignore that for now. So we're basically looking for the surface of this. So this is what I mean. It's down there to show you the entrance and exit, but here you'd have to uh, be a little smarter. But it looks like it's around here somewhere. Ah, here it is. So it's really not hard in the end. You just have to be somewhat smart. I'm going to turn up my sound a bit for myself. So in case if I start hearing lava, now this one goes all the way down deep. So we're going to have a bit of a headache coming out. I do apologize. I guess I could teleport out or something cheaty, cheaty wise and say it's for the Let's Play series, but I don't play that way. So uh, we're doing this kind of like a one time shot anyway. So we don't, we wouldn't normally suffer you through all this, but. There you go. The graphite. Okay. Oh, here we go. I probably want to work our way up here then. There you go. There you go. And our hands won't burn because we have fire resistance thanks to... Um, thanks to those gloves we are wearing right now. Or normally they would burn us. Actually, I don't know if we have to keep them in our hand, though, or if we'll burn without it. I don't actually know, and I don't know if I want to risk it, to be honest. Whew. But I'm going to try it anyways, just in case. Ow. Okay, ow. Okay, so you have to keep the bucket in your hand, basically, at all times. Or you'll lose your fire resist without it. Cool. Cool. Oh yeah, these are diamonds, so I wanted to get some of these. There you go. There you go. Okay, we're good. I don't know, um... I'm assuming... Oh, you can just smelt them into a diamond. There you go. So those are legitimate diamonds that turn into legitimate diamonds. Diamonds. Wasn't sure if I needed something special for that. So. Ow. 
Oh, crap. I guess it didn't tick in there. There you go. Okay, I'm sorry for not having that in my hand at the time. Doesn't seem happy with me. Okay, cool. Well, now we know how we can get diamonds anyways. Can I do emeralds yet? No. Okay, sorry guys. You might want to fast forward here or whatever because you might get a little seasick kill. And I actually found this diamond one like... I was going to go every three, but I found it in the one before it, which is none. And then there was a cave system. I followed it. And then at two chunks out, there was diamonds. And I was like, oh, interesting. And that was actually when I was able to help position the centering of my stuff. Because then it was like two chunks out from that point. I was pretty sure that was the middle at the time. So I was able to basically predict roughly that you know i was in the middle of the ore stuff but it's still not 100 percent but uh, you get the idea so there you go you can put this in here and you can put this in here and this should be a working smeltery and what it wants you to do is put cobblestone in here i have no clue how much you need but uh, we'll give it a try here and this will probably eat a quite a bit of fuel um it's inefficient basically uh, quite a bit uh, till you uh, have built it up more but uh, bigger basically in size higher uh, makes it more efficient and things like that and I think even wider but overall just bigger but uh, you get the idea anyways here so you can see it's using the fuel and so yeah it eats up a lot of lava I don't know how much is required. I hope not too much, but it says 360. Oh, I thought it said four for that. Oh no, that's 18. Oh no, oh no. Oh God, this is gonna take a long time. Oh, it might have been better making some of these more complex ones. Oh. Let me guess. I can't do it myself, though. Darn it. That would have been nice. This is going to be a bit of a long-term thing, then. But it won't make enough, so you get the idea. You need 360 of it to make it worthwhile. It says that's one block worth, though. What? Yeah, I was going to say, that's not even close to one block worth. So it didn't look too bad. So basically, you're going to have to do this for quite a bit just to make the one block worth, I guess. Damn. That's a little more taxing than I ever thought it would be. And I don't think we can make any kind of compressed cobblestone or anything like that. No. I was just trying to figure out other ways to make it. <laughs> You could do plates and stuff, but the only downside is the plates themselves we wouldn't have access to yet because uh, that requires a higher level of Tinker's stuff, no? Maybe I can do plates at this level. Oh, now we're talking. Who's a smart even now? Okay, I think I found a slight work around i mean there probably is a better method to be honest but uh this should make life a little easier 
we'll let this one run through and see how it goes. But if we put them into plates, then we're we're cooking, right? So that's that's actually a, a good thing. <laughs> Do you think an armor one opened up now that I can get? Probably not quite yet. Yeah. Okay, yeah, the next one we'll try the plates. Watch it actually be smart and it takes way longer to cook down. That would suck. This is enough to make one block. I can't. It looks like it can, though, but it doesn't make sense because it doesn't look like it has the right math for it. 324, huh, the numbers are all off on this thing then, I guess. Please don't be too long. Oh no, oh, there it's going, it's going, it's going. Yes. Well, we're going to look over a little, over the limit here just a bit so we can uh, see this happen, but uh, it looks like it's gonna work out, my friends. And by the way, you can take this tank with you. Kind of a derp on that. The sear tank can be actually broken and brought with you. So you can put another four buckets worth. It only holds four buckets, but there you go. Four buckets in there. And then, uh, you know, you can fill up your two iron buckets. And there you go. You got six buckets in total there. Oh, this is going to be awesome. So this is how you can make the sear brick without going through all that process over there. And uh, actually, this is a good way to get rid of a bunch of cobblestone as well. Now that I figured out you can use the plates, uh, this is actually a really good idea. Watch it like require a temperature. And it's like, oh, sorry. Some things require like a certain heat and they don't work. I think we're going to be fine here, but it would just be funny. Doot, 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 doot. Uh-oh. We're getting there, my friends. We're getting there. Let's go for one more sleep here. Beautiful. There you go. So here's your block, by the way. Um, I mean, that's it for the episode, so I might as well melt more for fun, right? Oh, it's cooling down. Oh, damn. There it goes. I thought it was going to never cool down. And then, ooh, thank you. And we're going to go here and uh, finish this part of it. Ooh. Sorry, crafting table. And we're making the table itself, which makes you be able to make casts and things like that as well. So there you go. And we can place that down there so that that could be poured of course there now and you can pour more of this here and now uh, We are finally done the multi-structure Goals, which is awesome So you can get aluminum ore berries or oh no, you do get them. Thank you because I need those aluminum berries anyways because you need them for uh, The growing but you're gonna have to bury those underground by the way. So keep that in mind claim and this is steam age, by the way, so it means that uh, you're going to get some different rewards than normal. Okay. So I got like a bunch of crazy looking trees and apparently I got a bronze hull and iron ore. The bronze hull is actually probably an interesting block because uh, you'll need it later on, but it just saved you all those bronze plates. So actually it's probably not a horrible... Uh, freebie <laughs> interesting i'm just gonna throw everything in here now <laughs> 
but there you guys have it, my friends. We now have uh, our small tree up and running, and uh, there's going to be probably more quests for it, but uh, I, I wonder if they just want you to go ahead and just have fun and do whatever with it, or there's... Cause as far as I know, it's up and running, so if they don't have anything else, then uh, main quest, main... Huh. So it looks like it might just be all up to me at this point. Interesting. Huh. Okay. Well, I'll keep building the smell tree. Uh, like I will, I was saying before, I'll probably do this so I can place the blocks. They can add, count as one. So over time, I will actually add more and more of those. So that'll make it kind of interesting. And uh, I'll need to get more lava. So uh, I'll probably bring this with me so I can fill it up with lava, of course. Uh, the only downside right now is that it has a bit in there. So you're probably going to have to drain it so you can fill completely four buckets with it. Anyways, guys and girls, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and we'll see wonderful people next time.